Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the continuation of Atomic Heart here on our Chair Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host, Max. So in the previous episode, we battled a big ass robot which was somehow embedded inside of a hump whale. And uh, yeah, it was quite challenging, but we made it to this sort of lighthouse where the doctor who was on Petrov's side was the guy who a couple of episodes back committed suicide. Uh, she has basically uncovered all these deep, dark secrets of our boss who turned us into a killing machine. And chances are that whenever we came across a situation where we blanked out, he took control of our mind or pushed our actual mind into some sort of happy place to control of the body the body killed whatever was in its vicinity and things just turned ugly from there and so currently our plan is to somehow betray our boss so that he won't be able to launch the collective i still don't know how in the hell am i gonna access the locations where there are all these modifications for all the weapons that i'm collecting but uh well, let's see how this is gonna play out are we leaving or is there anything else you want to know Okay, let's go. Communism 2.0 in Soviet Russia. I'm really sorry you had to go through all this. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, here we go again. No, not now. Not here. Who's gonna kill her? Oh, this is not gonna be good. We are all monsters in the dark, my boy. How many times have we talked about this? Why am I a cat? Each book from my father's library was nothing but the knowledge I sought. I've spent my entire life putting those fragments about Just opposing each side. And once I'd completed the puzzle, I found a book that now prevents me from sharing my knowledge. That book is human greed and human People have no time to dedicate themselves to science. On the other side of the world, they're busy playing with money. And on this side, they're playing with the power of the masses. Science shattered to pieces by the husks. No one has ever read. None of the social systems that exist now allow humanity to fully evolve. They are all. I have no clue where the hell am I supposed Get to go. Rid of money and let robots toil for us. Get rid of inequality and the communism. Give people freedom of choice. Accelerate evolution. single great collective. I feel like I'm stuck. Science will start to flow within the minds of all the citizens of a unified nation. A great scientific union that encompasses the entire globe. Collective is the hand of goodness and ready to embrace all mankind. I got lost somehow. Lift up your hand and open your eyes, my boy. You understand the weight of a mind of knowledge better than anyone else. I'm just so afraid I'm gonna wake up. Humanity to She's gonna be next. dead. Without introducing strife, without falling into the abyss of war and hatred. What, what are you these? You are a warrior of science. Of the capitalist bureaucracy. No clue where to help you go. Make the world pure and great. Those who die will be preserved as digital copies. No one will ever be forgotten again. 
collective is a new world. A world of A world where everyone will be intelligent and happy. Which world is this happening in, my boy? Just because someone is intelligent, that does not mean that they can be happy. Problem is that if you're too smart, it can actually lead to dissatisfaction because if you're just that much more intelligent compared to other people, just having conversation with others might annoy you because they do not have the grasp of certain concepts as you do. So it will always feel like you have to explain things and that will just piss you off. And for no one to ever disappear, I don't know, it, it's, it's kind of really deeply philosophical, but you have a finite amount of time, which, depending on gazillion of variables, can be extended or shortened, depending on your choices. And choices of billions of other people. So, your life can end up because something is happening across the map, behind the border, or something like this. These are the problems of geopolitics, and these are the problems which are related to philosophy, religion, culture, belief systems, but I don't know. Problem is, I have no fucking clue where the hell to go. I wanna get the fuck out of here. Oh, you're not making it easy on me. Everything is a dead end. Okay, this is new. Wait, was it that I reached the end of that one location? Oh, I would at least appreciate some fish. The fuck is that? This is, this is something which I've lately been contemplating. If it's even in my cards to ever get married. I know that I'm not the easiest person to get along with. I'm not the beauty standard. God knows I have my vices. I'm trying to work on them, but I'm not perfect. But finding someone to put up with me... Huh? Please don't, please don't find her dead. That would piss me off. Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity, <sighs> and the red alert Finally will be back with very us, soon. Sonny. You took Collective a real pounding, didn't you? Will be you were pretty close to staying one. there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody uh, rampage? You were a nice boy when my daughter was around, but ever since she passed away, uh, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. Uh, nothing but blood and ripped off heads uh, everywhere. Disgraceful. What's your daughter got to do with me? <sighs> my Katinka. Our Katinka. <laughs> they played hell with your memory, Sonny. Lady. What are you talking about? She was my daughter, but your she was wife. your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codenamed Blesna, member of the Argentum Spec Ops squad. So you must be... Your mother-in-law, you stupid ignoramus. You worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. 
Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. W wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the four winds. Did that kill her? <sighs> Fuck. You got a gun, lady. Does it look like I don't have one? What would you like? Anything will do. I just need to blow my head off. Great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be that done Stand with down, it. lady! Then set an off to turn everyone into mindless meat bags. First the Soviet <laughs> Union, then the rest Bye -bye, of the world. I get it! If you get it, then get up! I'll give you weapons, lots of them. But only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Listen to your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Chariton Zaharov. Chariton? You devil! You're alive! In a sense. An evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Zina this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? You keeping secrets is letting me Sechenov down. Sechenov must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya, Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. I'm begging you, Sergei. Sechenov has to die! Jeez, get off my back already! Crispy critters! What the hell is going on around here? God, on the I one hate hand, that I've got lying, manipulative dicks who claim to be noble Avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is. <sighs> Whatever, lady. Why don't you show me what's now in that arsenal? Now you're talking, Sonny. I really don't know if this is gonna be like final showdown. Honey. I don't really need more melee weapons. The axe will do the tr trick. I don't have the recipe for the railgun. I'm really kind of confused about some of the stuff now, but sure. Let's try to keep bulk cartridges of the ammo. I can keep these five shotgun shells. That's 12 rockets for fat boy. Three full max for the pistol. Bunch of these things. I don't have too much medication on me, which I should immediately change. I am extremely worried about you. Armor upgrades. Character. I don't have the polymers. But everything else I do have. Frostbite I have not even unlocked. This one I haven't even messed around with. Polymer jets, shields, energy management. Don't have I the polymers. In danger. What do you mean? The break room isn't safe anymore. No, handsome. My room will always be safe for you. I won't let anyone in as long as you're here. Then where is this threat coming from? 
Your glove! It is manipulating you! Take it off before it's too late, and we'll be together till death do us part. Oh, man. I'm sick of you going on about the glove. But I'm right, darling. Yeah, yeah, you just want to murder me. Not gonna happen. How could you even think that, sugar? I only kill pathetic, horny little pipsqueaks who try to enter me, when all I want is you. How many times do I have to tell you to stop killing people? But that's beyond me, sugar. I can't help myself. Then you'll have to deal with the glove until you can. You should forbid her from telling you to remove the glove. You see? He is turning you against me. Oh, sneaky manipulator. Darling, take off the disgusting thing right now. Listen, can you spare me your maniacal ramblings? This place has already gone to hell. Whatever you say, Master. Just enter me often and keep punishing me. Okay. Seriously, don't have a clue what the hell you think about this place. Then come on, Sergey. Vengeance awaits. Don't rush me. One thing at a time. I would prefer that we reach Section L before Collective is updated and it is too late to change anything. In case you don't like his answers. So, what will it be, Major? Kind of weird how the AI keeps changing the voice. I will probably take more health packs. This is not enough to do anything significant. Wish me luck! The twins' energy, just like you, twins have the ability to store up energy in order to enhance its attack. Attack it to take out the stored energy up and weaken your full Is that special left or right? attack. Uh, same difference. I have no idea how right you are. The twin is using everything she has to kill you. Use everything you have. I don't know if the fat boy is. What are you looking at, Major? Fight! Optimal. The latest robotics technology and for what? To kill. How do you see race?
to have to be rising to help me prepare for it for something. some highly advanced capoeira movements. That's not weird at all. Well, let's go with Frost. And... Whatever I have. It would be nice if I would be able to replenish my inventory. They're too fast for the bad boy. The goal is the suppression of the United States of America. Change of political regime. Abolition of capitalism. Establishment of communism. Establishing social and moral ideals consistent with the beliefs of a Soviet person. The method of execution is the seizure of the strategic and military facilities followed by disconnection and shutdown of nuclear power plants. Effective deactivation of the Atomic Heart of America complete surrender of the government and the transfer of power to the top leadership of the USSR. So how are they gonna pull that off? Well, Sergei, first they sell robots, then they simply give them away as aid. Once they reach critical mass, they take over all the power plants and cut off the power. I'm gonna have to battle this freaking thing now. Greetings, honored members of the Politburo. I am pleased to inform you that the Atomic Heart Project is now complete and ready for launch. This is a top secret project designed to crush the resistance of our class enemies in Western Europe, East Asia, and of course, North America. As you know, facility 3826 has been a player on the capitalist market for many years now providing a labor force, i.e. robots, to the entire world free of charge as a way to skirt sanctions. The distribution of these robots has already led to civil unrest due to growing unemployment in rival countries. But more importantly, it has also led to our devices being located in strategic targets without exception, including nuclear power plants. After switching them to combat mode, we will capture rival countries' nuclear reactors and demand 
that power be handed over to the people. The borders of the Soviet Union will expand beneath the banner of a people's uprising. We will demonstrate the advantages of our ideology and disseminate it throughout the world. The Soviet Union will square its shoulders and direct mankind's gaze up to the stars. The Atomic Heart Project will be launched as soon as every citizen of our nation has been fully polymerized. Thank you for your time, comrades. Okay. I would like more supplies. At full speed, the GMC-69 geodesic monocycle's wheel can slice a man's body in half. Its standard loadout includes a 7.62 millimeter machine gun that can be replaced with a flamethrower or laser gun. I still don't get how we can control machines in America from the Soviet Union. It's not like hacking a hub in the facility. Comrade Major, the polymers have the ability to transmit information among themselves without need for radio frequencies. No other transmitters are required, since the neuropolymer is itself a transmitter. This Collective 2.0 will work the same way, way, but with the brains of ordinary users. An enormous social distance would be required to avoid control, but any undesirable outcasts will be caught by the robots. Up to 80 kills an hour. Okay. The NAT-256 Natasha heavy-duty ground-based loader bot can squeeze up to 5 liters of blood from a human body in under 20 seconds. I bet it'll be like how people control these monsters with that fucking gizmo there. The thought controller. As I said earlier, thought is nothing but a trinket, a fake. The Design primary the connector is the jelly man, unit, the, the neuropolymer. And only Sechenov has access to it. Quite adept, only the jelly man, a massive data array, can resonate with all polymerized objects and control them. And believe me, Comrade Major, a tremendous amount of polymer has been spread throughout the world over the last few years. Every machine and every human being on Earth will become part of Collective. The Bumblebee has a silent mode for infiltrating enemy lines and gathering intelligence. Yeah, this is the thing which we fought. Acting as an exoskeleton for a plush based neuropolymer creature, the Dewdrop is a highly capable combat unit whose laser beam's penetration rate for human flesh is a staggering 0.15 seconds. So, to make a long story short, Sechenov is in charge of this polymer thingy, this jelly man, and the jelly man is going to be in charge of everything that becomes part of the network. Indeed. Sounds like freaking black the magic or something. The polymers have not been fully studied, nor has collective. It is, it is entirely possible that humans have created something greater than themselves. In fact, the electronic messages you have been reading at the pair terminals may very well have been specially selected for you by the neural network, or even created. We simply don't know, Major. The I don't like the sound of that. It's no worse than a single man's drive to control more lives than just his own. I don't know if I need to switch this up with the rocket launcher. God knows what's waiting for me. It's gonna be some battle because they're giving me all the shit. A light reconnaissance drone. A group of owls can lift an enemy off the ground and drop it from a lethal height. Listen, this is fucking bonkers. Sechenov wants to take over the world and blow up America. Not blow it up, just deprive it of electricity. Weren't you listening? If you still have doubts after the Academy, what I've told you and everything you've seen around you, let's just do what we came here to do. Look your former boss in the eye and ask him. Designed as a freight drone, the Drofa also doubles as a punitive expedition unit. It's unique crew can chop a human body into bits as as an industrial... Yeah, I've been given lots of ammunition. There's a save point here. It's gonna be boss battle. So, what will it be, Major? I need to take a look at how much... ...health cartridges am I carrying around. <sighs> Oh, 
don't understand why it wasn't able to be combined inside of my inventory, but whatever. So these are the weapons. A lot of health packs. Man, wish me luck. Wish me luck. Protect. Well, Cheriton, are you proud of yourself? You, Larissa, and Zenaida have certainly been busy. But, Sergei, I wouldn't have expected you to be quite so gullible, my boy. Silence! You messed with my head. You wiped my memory. Am I a toy to you like those other people connected to Collective? Who the fuck Calm do you down, think you Sergei. are? Sergei. I can see you're terribly upset. It's okay, I don't blame you. But you, Cheriton. You were supposed to help the boy, not pull his strings like a puppet. Me? Don't you blame this on me! I'm not the one trying to deprive everyone of their free will, turning them into mindless puppets. It wasn't my choice to be a talking pile of goo, either. You're glad it happened, aren't you? You use everything and everyone to achieve your goal, including me and your agent. Admit it! How dare you! I lost you both. Then saved your lives. You're both scientific miracles. You were... You are my best friend, Sheraton. And the Major is like a son to me. And those two are like daughters, right? And everyone you're going to connect to Collective, everyone whose minds you're going to control, who are they to you? Millions of foster kids? Everyone is just grist for your mill, Dimitri. I want to give mankind a spectacular future. Unimaginable achievements! I want to give them a path to the star. Both of you, shut up! Get your hands up! Some goddamn wizard you are. Tell him to stand down. I'm counting to three. One! What a shame. Two! It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. Right, left, terminate. Oh, this is gonna suck. events okay what in the actual living fuck is this stop blaming the machines major freaking fucking critters these are cold hard facts but yet exactly what i want to correct you just walked into my office with a loaded gun where's the friendship where's the respect what about your respect, Dimitri? For everyone! Once I launch Collective 2.0, the world will be free of pain, suffering, and petty aggression like yours, B3. Oh, classic! So to make everybody happy, 
We just need to kill all the unhappy. Stop messing with my head. So one of these robots is Ekaterina and Achaiba, the wife I don't remember? Well, which one? They both are. I tried to bring Blesna back to life when her brain was literally ripped in half. I wanted to restore her right and left hemispheres, but the process was too complicated. What the shit? But why? You're already fucking with people who are still alive. Couldn't you just leave the dead in peace? Which of my other memories have you wiped, boss? And how many times? Except her death. And I couldn't save her. I had to do it. Or your life would have been a living nightmare. What else could I have done? You almost died in that explosion in Bulgaria. Oh, of course. Such valuable personnel. What a convenient opportunity to hide yet another experiment on a human subject. Shut up, Charity. That's enough, boss. I'm willing to believe that you were acting in my best interests. But why couldn't you just tell me? I'm sorry, Sergei. I wasn't sure what to do. Right now, the right thing is to call off the twins and just talk to me. Forgive me, but right now they're... Sheraton, not you! There's so much shit going on. Critters. Can we just stop fighting? I hate the phrase. Take off the glow! Can't let fucking help it. It's horrible phrase. Okay, fine! First call off! My wife! We can do this! Don't listen to him! Sentinel is manipulating you! Wake up, P3! Sheraton has been brainwashing you from the very beginning! Wake up! Wake up! What the fuck? All of them. That's great. Gotcha. And I can't stop them now. Major, wake up. The hell is that? Your wife is dead! Sechenov took her from you! I have no clue what's going on most of the time. Give me Jarrett before anyone else gets hurt. Dimitri is suggesting that I'll be hurt. You will be next, Major. Fine. Are you waiting? Die here. Shit going on. I run out of meth kits. And ammo. Ammo 
and out of med kits. I'm the definition of fuck. Okay, uh, try that boy. Disco ball is gonna be the death of me somehow. M Murderous beauty. I have no clue what just happened. Did I defeat them? You lousy you piece don't of shit. Cheriton's manipulating you. He gained access to the Voskhod module in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Cheriton, did you do the same thing to Dr. Filatova? <laughs> did you use my agent to tear her limb from I'm limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. Why have you done this? <clears throat> you motherfucker this whole time. I've had uh, enough of you, Major. Uh, your job is done. Uh, uh, P3, my boy. Get up. Get up. Holy shit, this is some Terminator stuff. What do you want? I want all this to end, Dimitri. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. It's oh, he's gonna climb to inside of that pool and turn and into God knows what. The next phase of its evolution. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Weird shit I have to deal with. Jarrett, you're pure evil. What? What are you gonna do to humanity and collective? You should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it. Evil is an abstract concept. And your thinking is limited. You are a human. A species that will soon be extinct. I realized when I stopped being human myself. Your limitations prevent you from seeing the truth. Dumb humans don't want to evolve. All they want is comfort and satisfaction on someone else's dime. You never wanted to join with the massive array. No. Don't, Charity. No. Ah,
He's no longer human, yet he takes on the form of one. Irony? I don't know, is this like a bad ending? The Argentum unit entered Dr. Sechenov's office and found no trace of the doctor. According to partially reconstructed footage, it appears the humanoid neuropolymer object approached Dr. Sechenov's body. And then completely consumed it. After the events described in the report, the unidentified humanoid neuropolymer object left Dr. Sechenov's office and vanished. Oh, that cannot be the ending, right? P2, P3. Your mind is never free. Dumb, crisp critters. I hate that phrase. But I guess that's gonna be it for the Atomic Heart. I'm gonna have to probably look up on YouTube if there are multiple endings. I probably got the worst one because whatever. But uh, yeah, if you did enjoy the series, probably you did it more than I did. I had some really mixed feelings about this game. And it, it draw a lot from like The Last of Us you know my love will follow you and all sorts of other games, I believe. So who knows? Uh, the story is interesting. Will I ever replay it? Probably no. I, I, I just don't know. I know that some DLC came out for it, but I, I, I'm not sure. Hell, I, I did not even enjoy Doom Eternal that much. So I actually do prefer the Doom 2016. So... At least shows you something. But that one thing you can deny. But, uh. Oh, well, it was certainly an interesting idea of how the communism idea would get turned around on its head or something. Who knows? But that's gonna be it for this. And I'm gonna have to start looking into some other title to cover here on the channel besides Dave the Diver and the other titles. So. Yeah, if you want to know what the channel is up to, like I said, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and suggest potential games for me to look at, and I'll see what I can do. And thank you all for watching, and see you in the comments for the next one.